Shoot me, and my hand squeezes three cc's of Lake Michigan into her neck. PCBs will cause cancer. The other toxins will cause itis, leprosy, dementia, and internal hemorrhaging, and ultimately a very agonizing death. Frazier? Uh, no! Well, the threat of leprosy is probably overstated. There's only been seven known cases in this area. Back this off! Any ideas? If you take a shot, he stabs her. If I take a shot, he stabs her. Aguinaldo! Aguinaldo! Shut up! Between a shot and the time we'll take him to depress the plunger, we have a half-second window of opportunity. Not enough time. This button. Shoot him! I don't have a shot. Neither do I. Mierdoso! Shoot him! Any other ideas? The idea is that we're gonna move straight ahead together, and then we're gonna walk out of here. Bad idea. Time's up, boys. Frazier? Ladies and gentlemen, what you have just seen is a perfect example of what not to do in a training exercise. If this was a real hostage situation, you would have just killed the Secretary of State. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Agent Gortez. Thanks, guys. I can only hope... Yeah, going, Nick? that the cooperation between our three nations will be more productive at the summit conference. Oh, God help us all. Manual, does it say you bite the assassin? Well, I had to do something you weren't going to. But you're the hostage. Oh, so we are just a third world country and we are not supposed to fight back? Gringo baboso. A Spanish explorer. That's not what you said. I know what you said. That is not what you said. You did not say Spanish explorer. Please, This entire situation was my fault. The American shot him. Why is he apologizing? He's Canadian. People, enough. It is imperative that the North American Free Trade Summit operates without incident. This conference is a milestone in the relations between our three countries. It's about cooperation. It's about growth. It's about money. Oh, Mr. Bennett. Lieutenant? Mr. Bennett is the U.S. trade official in charge of this summit, uh, and I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Helms. Bush. Casey. Secret Service? That's neat to know, Detective Vecchio. Now, Washington has received some very scary, very believable threats to the safety of the summit. Due to the large crowds of press and demonstrators expected, security consideration has become a nightmare. Let me just say, nothing will interfere with the security and safety of this summit conference. Special Agent Helms will be heading up security. Now, our respective countries are all counting on this joint task force to be uh, an example of international cooperation. I trust I can count on you. Meaning, if you screw up, we're all toast. Look, this could be a problem, sir. I don't think we're really bonding. Perhaps Frazier and I should be the ones... Listen, Vecchio, the three of you have less than 72 hours to uh, bond. This is not enough time, sir. Vecchio, are you familiar with that old Spanish expression, El Guardio del Tráfico? Understood, sir. We will be a well-oiled machine by tomorrow. The American shot you. I don't think he intended to. Thank you. We clean our own personnel here.
Look, it was a simple mistake. No, it was a miscalculation. And I haven't made a miscalculation since... Since when? Well, since the last time you shot me. I'm just grateful you had the presence of mind to shoot me again. Well, it wasn't my fault. She jumped the gun. She heard that. I know. Police, anybody home? ID? Uh, it's uh, Constable Benton Fraser, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. I'm here on behalf of the uh, Joint Security Task Force to pick up the telephone security codes for the Trade Summit. I believe you were expecting us? Your health insurance number? 559-764-921. Uh, Mother's maiden name? Pinsent. Cold word of the day? Manatee. Sign here, please. Thank you kindly. Thank you. What's with all this security hocus pocus for a trade meeting? Not any trade meeting, top NAFTA representatives. Yeah, well, in my country, nobody knows what NAFTA is or cares. Somebody does apparently enough to. What? Well, that security official stamped his document. He did it rather hard. Yeah, well, those phone company boys are tough. Yeah, but if you stamp documents all day long and you do it that hard, Ray, you develop tendonitis. So you start to use a, a rolling motion. what it is to love your home and lose it. I am losing mine. Canadian forests are being destroyed to build houses in America. American forests are being destroyed to build houses in Mexico. Trade representatives Sinclair, Franklin, and Tedesco have betrayed us. I will see them die before they are allowed to betray their countries again. Lunatic. And you say you don't know this man? Not to my knowledge, no. He knows you. It would appear so, yes. Yes, it would. You didn't get a look at his face. The blinds were down, the room was dark. The room was darker. Your eyes weren't sharp, Constable. My eyesight is fine, thank you. Just not today. No. You've been working in law enforcement for some time, haven't you, Constable? For some time, yes. Is there anything going on, either physically or emotionally, that could be putting you off your game? No. Did you observe... Anything about this person, Constable? I observed many things. The most salient feature was his hands. He spent a lot of time out of doors. He worked with his hands. Somebody walked away with top secret copies of the summit telephone codes right under your nose, Constable. And the only thing that you can recall is that perhaps he spent a lot of time out of doors. You weren't on the detail at the Prime Minister's residence during the break-in last year, were you? No. Keep in touch. I made a mistake. No. I made two mistakes. Oh, boy. You know, they say your muscle tone and reflexes start to go in your early 20s. Of course, in your case, that would be in your early threes. But we've made up for it, haven't we? We have increased knowledge, we have increased skill. Yes, you eat up quickly. We have to go to bed early. inside the Prime Minister's residence, Constable, while the PM was at home. And where were you? 
in Chicago. Do you think it was appropriate for you to be hundreds of miles away in a foreign country when your PM was facing that kind of threat? Of course not. Fitness is not just about strength and reflexes. It's about judgment. Yes, sir. I can't hear you. Yes, sir. Over here, Constable. Yes, sir. I sir. I understand is the first thing to go. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir! This is a bad dream. Go back to sleep. Our trade representatives stay on the plane an extra five minutes. Then you'll meet up with the others, go out the back entrance. No need to tell the Americans or the Mexicans. The American trade representative will come out of the hatch second. The guy in front will be a lookalike. Our guy will wait five minutes, then enter the terminal. Don't tell the Mexicans or the Canadians. Nuestro hombre se quedará por cinco minutos más en el avión. El canadiense sale por atrás. Y el gringo es un doble. ¿Cómo sabes esto? La ventaja de ser mexicano. Siempre piensan que estamos durmiendo. Pero no le diga eso a los gringos, ¿eh? O los canadienses. is on the gangway. On your toes. You're on the move. See anything? Nothing. Cabot, 
C-A-B-O-T. Enid Cabot, C-A-B-O-T. Jacques Cam de Sue, C-A-M-D-E-S-S-U-S. -S -S -S. Boy, we're making a difference for democracy here. They called the airport. No one saw a gunman. No one saw anything. Nothing. Nada. Now, sometimes a camera lens, if you look at it from a different angle, possibly... He saw his hands, right? Yes. He saw a gun, right? Yes. Read the report. There's a Spanish translation. You believe your friend very touching. Also very American. You know, I'm getting a little sick and tired of your disrespect. You are a visitor in this country. Ah, thank you, Vecchio. I had forgotten the Alamo. Is that a slam against Davy Crockett? Do you make an effort to be obnoxious, or is it just a gift? It's just a gift. He was here. Who was here? The assassin. During the training exercise, he saw me miscalculate. Well, he would look for a weak spot. Oh, come on. This place was crawling with SWAT. He couldn't get within a mile. He could if he was one of them. My security clearance. I was in with the task force files. Okay, listen up. The psych boys in Washington have been working overtime. We got a profile on our man based on his letter. First, he's a woman. <laughs> what? One of those retro 60s types. You know, ban the bomb, kiss a whale. Your typical sandal wearing, lavender smelling. Granola crunching, tree hugging. Subversive. Who happens to be armed to the teeth. That's what the profile says. Do you have a list of suspects? The moment we got something definite, I'll let you know. You find out if and when. What happened to all of us being in this together? Some of us are in it more than others. Now, Cortez, you and Vecchio take over from Montoya and Brewster on the first floor east wing. You, you stick to your strengths. Same boots, army issue. Oh, hi. Huh. Well, these have been resold with used rubber. Michelin's. Man knows his tires. What kind of man soles his own shoes? A thrifty one. Look at the way he walks, the curl from the ball of the foot to the outside. Light, careful, like a predator. He'll be seen when he wants to be seen. Military training? Combat experience? Indeed. Is this a dream or are you still dead? Still dead, son. Thanks for asking. And what do you think you're doing in here? Probably the same thing you are. Well, I'm here on official business. Oh. Is that why you had to pick the lock? I'm not the one who was caught red-handed. Do you know that the contents of that file are American government property? What's in this file could help save a Mexican diplomat's life? I'm not going to allow him to die over some American need-to-know power game. Well, then you better be prepared to share. I don't share with people I don't trust. Me neither. Fine. Make your own copies.
Our man is 192.5 centimeters in height and weighs 119 kilos. And 52 grams. You can't possibly know that. There's nothing wrong with my eyes, son. There's nothing wrong with mine. You know, this could be the one. The one what? Your match, son. Someone who's stronger than you, faster, smarter. Dad. First you see one, then you start to notice more before you know you, you're struggling to keep up with them. Dad. See it as a challenge, son. I'd relish the chance. Completely unstable. Huh? Nothing. You'd do well to listen to your father, son. Dad? He comes, he goes, never a word of warning. To my... Oh, great.